What's going on, guys? Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Congratulations. Now that you're engaged, it's time to plan your party. Time to plan your party. God, hold on. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm going to put this thing on mute. Let me know if you can hear me. Um, also, guys, type in the chat where you're coming in from. Where are you typing in from right now? <clears throat> What's up, Tony? How's Hawaii? Hawaii is beautiful. Okay, so I basically had to mute it. I didn't. I don't have my mic set up. I'm in my bedroom here in Hawaii, loud and clear. Florida. Who else? We got LA in the house. Wisconsin, North Carolina, loud and clear. Awesome, awesome. I'm happy everybody's here uh, to join us. So we're gonna be doing some crazy things today. Super crazy things. Um, sounds good, North Idaho. Um, I, I hope you guys are enjoying the channel and the car stuff. And we got like a lot more entrepreneurial stuff coming up very soon. I'm here in Hawaii. Um, I've just been so busy. I'm looking to get another piece of property on the North Shore. Still working on that deal, but it is what it is. So I'm I'm actually happy. Um, the stream is doing well. I got my internet fixed up. And what's up, Texas Blades? Hey, Tim Lang, Stephen Mitchell, Jason Family, Jesus, Aaron Smith, Arnold. What's going on, guys? Yes, I will show you the property, guys, when I get it. I don't want to jinx myself. I need to get it first. I'm working on the contract um, with the offer, and let's see what happens. It's a $1.3 million property. He's asking one point, yeah, $1.35, but uh, let's see. Um, he accepted my offer of. 1.1, but um, I have to. We have to work out the fine details. Um, anyway, if you see, I have a. We got a little Chihuahua, and uh, my daughter's playing. So we have, that's why. That's why we have a pee pad over there. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Before we get started, I'm gonna do a giveaway right now. I told you guys that we would be doing a giveaway right at the very beginning. So I just want whoever can tell me. How many pieces are in this cleaning kit? Okay. The, it has to be a number. I will send you one of these for free. It's a $30 value. How many piece cleaning kit, spray gun cleaning kit is this? Come on, guys. Come on. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. No, not yet. How many piece, guys? How many piece, guys? Including the little pieces. Including the little pieces. Come on. Come on, you guys are close and far at the same time. Close and far at the same time. Come on, man. How many pieces are in here? <laughs> Come on. And it's the number that I see on my screen, all right? There's a lag. There's a lag, and uh, nobody got it so far. 17, Pistol Pete. Pistol Pete. <laughs> 17. Pistol Pete, got it. Your first, your first, uh, number was 17. So congratulations, Pistol Pete. You won the 17 piece spray gun cleaning kit. And like each of these little brushes here, you know, this is like a piece. So there's 17 pieces in here. Um, that was pretty awesome. So Pistol Pete, all you have to do is email ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com and tell them you won the 17 piece spray gun cleaning kit and give them your name, your email, uh, your address, your shipping address and tell them you won this. And uh, I will buy you one of these things. It's a $30 value. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do two more giveaways on this channel in a little bit. Okay, but let's hit up some Q&A right now um, for about 15 minutes or so. Let's do some Q&A, um, and then we will do two more giveaways and then close it out. Maybe we'll do three giveaways. Maybe I will give away a spray gun. I've never never given away a spray gun live, but maybe we'll give away a spray gun. All right, so hit me up with some of your uh, little auto body questions. And maybe I can help you out. All right, let's continue. Um, I think some of you said something here. Um, so let's see. If I go back, 
Somebody said, any difference between 2K candy paint and base coat, mid coat candy? I'm painting my bike again. Um, well, the mid coat candy I think you're talking about is, is the uh, concentrate. Are you talking about concentrate candy? So if you're, if you're thinking about concentrate, it's a little different, but pretty much the same process because you have to lay your base coat. You have to lay a urethane candy if you're doing a regular candy and then your clear coat on top. If you're doing the concentrate, it's going to be a mid coat anyway. So you're going to have um, a silver base coat. You're going to put your concentrate on and then you're going to put your clear coat on. So that's it's pretty much the same thing. Um, okay. Let's go down here for questions. Have you painted a car using a turbine? Not yet, but I think this is something I wanna do once I get into my new property. So not yet, but it's something that I wanna record and document um, on YouTube for you guys. Um, okay, J. Demio, how about a quick explanation between the clear coats? That's going to get a little long right now, so I will hold that for a little later. Okay, I just want to tackle like more of the the Q and A. How's the Lambo? I sold the Lambo um, maybe about six or eight months ago for a fifteen, well, sixteen thousand dollar profit. Um, I painted my car black. What about? And about a month later, a patch of bodywork wrinkled and cracked. What's up with that? I'm not sure. I don't know what was under it, what you did, what type of paint you did. It's hard for me to answer that question. Um, I don't know what you did underneath, Rufus Dogs. I, I'm not sure. You have to. You would have to like you know get me some more information on that, or show me some pictures or video of what you did. Um, while while. But in clear coat, can you, while budding of you go through the clear, can you scuff it a bit with 2000 wet sand and clear? Do you have to lay base clear again? Arnold, while buffing, if you go through the clear coat, can you scuff it with 2000 and clear or do you have to lay base and clear again? It depends, Arnold, if you, how much base you cut through. Because sometimes if it's a metallic base coat and you sand it, it'll distort the look of the base and you you might have to kind of rebase it that area and then clear coat it. It really depends. If it's a solid color and you just cut through to the base coat, you could pretty much probably I would just 1000 the area and then give it two coats of clear coat. Have you ever heard of Jess Lopez? He invented candy paint and marketed through George. Nope, I have not. Ma, you want to say what's up on YouTube quick? Sure, I'm looking for my jacket. You should show the dog. Hi. What's up? Here's Maya in the house. I'll show you guys the dog later. Okay, hurry up. I gotta go. Okay, bye. Close the door. Where is my um, Which paint system do you prefer, waterborne or solvent? It all depends. I mean, I still use solvent. I don't use a lot of waterborne. It takes a little longer to dry, and it is what it is, you know? First time from, okay, what's up, what's up? She's getting big. Yeah, she's getting big. Hey, family, VIP from New Jersey. Awesome, awesome. Any other questions? All right, so while we're waiting for questions, let's do another giveaway. Let's do another giveaway. Um, let me go to, I'm going to buy somebody a bag of pearl or flake. So I want you guys to browse this page. I'm going to send you a link. And I'm going to put, post a link really quickly, guys, okay, to my oldest VIP member. How many VIPs on the chat right now? To my oldest VIP member. And don't try to lie or do any shenanigans because my team, my customer support girls are going to check your name and email to make sure you are really a VIP. You got to type in how long you've been a VIP member. What's the longest? I wanna find out my oldest VIP member on the call right now. I'm gonna give you a free bag of pearl or flake. I'm gonna buy one for you from Zula.com. So this is the website. You can check out the pearls and flakes there. 
Um, type in like how many years, one year, two year, three year, four year, five year, my oldest VIP member. And we're going to check you. Remember, we're going to check you. We're going to give it another 30 seconds or so. And, and, uh, there's the dog and I'm going to buy you a bag of pearl or flake. Type it in guys, type it in, type it in. So let's see. It looks like we got two and a half years, two years, Bill Sterling last year, a lot of recent guys. Okay. I'm surprised we don't have any longer. So, oh, wow. We got one here. Four years, but I bet Ronnie is older. Oh, wow. Megan and David Anderson, you are pretty much – you have to be a VIP member of Learn Auto Body, though. So, all right. So, let's close it out at that. Jay Dimio, 3.5, not too bad. Uh, Megan and David Anderson, go ahead and create a support ticket. And um, – we're going to check your info. So whatever your login username and password is, give that to my support team. Email ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com and tell them what bag or, or flake you want, what pearl or flake you want from this page here that I sent. And I will buy it for you and mail it to you. All right. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and check out some Q&A. What paint would you recommend for my 36 Chevy panel truck? A solid color or a metallic two-stage? Well, I would definitely recommend a two-stage base coat, clear coat system because you could do a lot more with it. You know, with, with acrylic, with synthetic enamels, uh, acrylics, acrylic one-stage, single-stage paints, you know, you really don't have a lot of room for customization. If you do basically clear coat, you can add pearl, you can add flake, you can add candy, whatever you want to do. So I would definitely go with a two-stage uh, paint. Um, as far as metallic or solid, man, go with what you feel. Go with your heart. You know, what do you feel like you want to, you know, what's your favorite color? Just check out the colors. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's if it's a custom job for you, I would paint it whatever you think is cool. All right. Um, Mr. J, about my car, what do you recommend as far as paint? Original color is white. I'm trying to go with the dark blue color. So I fell in love with a color like 10 years back. It's called Spectra Blue by Toyota Lexus. Makes a color called Spectra Blue. You should definitely check that. It's a dark blue color and it's gorgeous. I don't know the color code off the top of my head. But it's called Spectra Blue. It's an amazing, rich-looking color. I love. I painted like three cars that color, and I painted my '67 Camaro that color, and I also painted uh, a Mercedes that I had that color. Really, really nice color. Uh, so definitely check that out. Um, Arnold said, "50 grams of pearl with clear." What's up, Mark? What's going on, guys? <laughs> guys, if you haven't yet, hit the like button. Come on, we got close to 60 people on and only 13 likes. What's going on? What's going on, guys? All right. Uh, my wife and kid in Japan are doing awesome. They are moving back. I'm going to go back and grab them um, in, July, in June. Actually, I'm going back to Japan in June. And then in July, I'm moving back to Hawaii. Um, hopefully that's the code PPG code five, four, three, seven. Thank you. North star signs. You are rocking. Um, yeah, so we'll be back in, um, in like July 7th, actually, I got my tickets July 7th. Okay. Um, what's up, Tony and members. What's up, Gavin. Okay. Best wishes to your child in Japan. Thank you, Tim. You guys are awesome. Does it turn purple? Um, not really. But if you add purple pearl to it, it will. I painted my RAV4 a blue and now my family calls it purple. Some purple colors are really nice, actually. Come here. Okay, here's the new addition to the family. And I've never liked small dogs until I like this one. Check her out. Her name is Lani, a little Hawaiian name. And she's like the most adorable thing. 
most adorable thing. Look at her. She just looks. You good girl. You good girl. Look at her. We rescued her at the pound um, about ten days ago. She was she's six months old, Chihuahua, and she was just sitting there like looking at us, and uh, we had to get her. She's the most friendly, lovable thing. Like I never liked small dogs until I until we got this dog. She's like. Super nice, right? Right, you good girl. Ooh, you good girl. <laughs> anyway, she, this is like full grown. She's like full grown. I'm like, she's like this big. She's tiny. <laughs> they said hi, Lani. Hi, Lani. Uh, I am in. Ho I am out of. I'm out of Texas for now. I rented my property out. I still have my shop there, but I'm about to build my shop and compound here on the North shore. It could happen as soon as next month. We'll see what happens. But if I do that, we're going to be rocking and rolling, man. We're going to be rocking and rolling. Um, I have a, a 2003 CRV that we're going to be painting very soon. So I'm just hooking up with some of my old body shop friends here back in the game. Um, he's moving into a new shop this Friday. I don't have a shop, but, uh, we're going to be like doing some jobs out of there and stuff. And I'll be, I'll be recording like his body work jobs. He's getting a blow up spray booth. So I'm going to take some videos uh, of that for you guys as well. So there's going to be a lot of cool things coming up and I'm super excited to start sharing all of this with you guys on YouTube. Um, so let's see. Okay. 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 I'm just kind of, kind of go back here on the chat here. Okay. Uh, I sanded the metal in places what should the process be and have Bondo? Where should I use the cover? I'm changing the color. Jeffrey, it's kind of like, it's very hard for me to answer your question. You're, you're talking like, you're giving me like a, a piece of like a bigger picture that I need to see. I mean, if, if you sand it to metal, I would pound it out as much as possible you know, get it flat and then you could do a skim coat of Bondo and shape it with like 80 grit or 150 grit. And then you could put your 2K primer on top of that. Um, Stephen Mitchell says, I'm going to paint the plastic lower cladding on my white Cherokee 5.9, a dark color to avoid rock chips. What paint additive do you recommend? Um, there is a new paint additive. What was the name of it? Man, I forgot the name of it. Does anybody know of a flex paint additive? There was a new one that Sherman Williams had. I forgot the name of it. But what I would also consider and look into is why not Raptor line the bottom? They also have tintable Raptor liner. That's what I plan to do on the CRV. So we're going to do it the original ugly brown color, base coat, clear coat, and then all the plastic on the bottom. And on the door moldings, I am going to do um, a black Raptor line on it. Like, because it, it's really a good stuff. I did my Japanese Daihatsu with it and it came out amazing. <clears throat> Kona Blue Metallic. Hi, Tony. Shout out to all, all the way from St. Vincent. What's up, Daryl? Can you do pearl with gold flake? Can you do pearl? Yes, absolutely. Why not? You could mix anything in your clear coat. I would just do a test panel or something. <clears throat> When sanding bare metal to prep for epoxy, can I DA in X pattern with 80 grit or should I take extra step and block in X pattern? Same goes for pr primer. You could DA it, no problem, uh, in an X pattern. But, I mean, DA is going to be orbital. That's fine. Um, thank you, Arnold. You're, you're an awesome guy, man. Uh, Question, can you make, this is for Lamont, can you make burgundy velvet paint? What colors do you need to make that happen? Well, what I would do is see what colors are out there, what you like, and then go to the paint shop and have them make it. Or you could even go to a paint shop, an automotive paint shop, look through their color books, see what you like the closest, and basically have it made. Um, the Cumberland <laughs> Additive. I'm not sure. Repline is fantastic. Use it on everything, even sandwiches. <laughs> What's your thoughts on removing all the paint to bare metal look and clear coating, giving it a rat rod look? It's a 90s body style SUV. Hey, whatever floats your boat, man. If that's something you want to do, do it. I would definitely do it. Okay, guys. So let's do our third. 
Are we on our third giveaway or second giveaway? We're on our second giveaway, right? Yeah, because all we did was give away the uh, – no, we're on our third giveaway. Third. So we gave away the pearl to my oldest VIP member. Uh, we gave away a cleaning kit to Pistol Pete. Third giveaway. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I am doing a 10-year anniversary sale to the Learn Auto Body and Paint program. 10-year anniversary sale. And it's basically lifetime access. Here is the page that tells you more about it. It's a video that I made. I'm in the Valley. Um, it's basically my life's work on auto body. There's like over 175 hours so far. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Um, like of everything auto body and we add more and more to it every year. We just added the CX five project. We got the Honda CRV project coming in there soon. It's all, all in there super detailed. We're going to have those versions on YouTube for free as well, but the super detailed stuff, you know, like really in depth teachings are going to be in VIP. So for the first person right now, who's not a VIP member. Okay. Who orders right now, I will gift you a brand new Adam Mini X16 spray gun. We're going to be giving away three of these, but I never thought I was going to do this until now. So right now I'm giving away to anybody watching this stream right now, the first person who orders right now through this link, VIP, the first person, it's 97 bucks for a lifetime membership. I will buy you a Adam Mini X16 spray gun. Ship it to you free, 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 $200 value. So you're only paying a hundred bucks for uh, VIP, but you're getting a $200 gun. Come on. Let's see who the action taker is in this group, in this chat. Um, I will let you know who places an order because I will get, I will get that notification probably in my email. So we'll just let it ride. We'll do some Q and A right now. Yeah, it's a deal. It's a hell of a deal. So that's going to be the first spray gun giveaway. We're giving away three. We're giving away three spray guns, $220 value with shipping. I will buy it and mail it to you. Aaron Smith, don't worry. There's going to be a lot more giveaways on this channel. So as long as you tune in, you have the opportunity to win something in the future. No worries. But for the first person who joins VIP right now through this link, you're going to have to click the green button. Um, I will buy you one of these. Okay. If not, if all of you in here are VIPs or you're not interested, no big deal. It's all good. It's all good. So let's do some Q&A quickly. Is that dryer and gauge available through Zula? Yes, absolutely. And I always get these. This is like an extra security. Um, you want this. Okay. They're like five, six bucks. Okay. And I've seen some people put it on like opposite, like have this on the gun, then your gauge here. I would rather run it like this. Okay, make sure you run it like this. So the it takes out, so you get no water in your gauge as well. And then going through the, okay. Um, so that's that. Have you used the Luma lights? Uh, no, because they are too freaking expensive. I do not like the Luma lights. I mean, I think it's a cool idea, but what I think is even cooler is the gun bud. Have you guys seen the gun bud? And I did a review on this not too long ago. It's <laughs> it's like it's like the Luma light, but better, cheaper, and it works fantastic. I've painted cars with this thing. Check out the gun bud right there. I mean, for $35. Come on. Like there's no way I'm spending $200 on a light. Steven said, gun bud, got one. I love it. I love mine too. Where is mine? Mine is over there. I'll show you what the gun, you guys want to see what it looks like? Yeah, I bought one after seeing your video. It works good. 
Gun Butt is rad. Just got mine with the Atom X20. <laughs> awesome, guys. Uh, Tony, what is a binder used for? So a binder is like, you can use it for like a, it's like an inner coat type of thing. You know, you, it's like a carrier, a binder. Um, let's see. Oh, crap. Hold on, guys. All right, so we're still waiting. Let me see. Did an order come in for VIP? I think one should be coming in. I know somebody. We got like one's going to be coming in soon. So let me know. Um, other than that, let's answer some last two or three questions. And then um, we're going to call it a day. And we'll be back again next week, Thursday, around this time. I'm going to stay consistent on this again. Um, it's been a, a rocky couple of months, but we're going to be doing YouTube lives every single week now. So, uh, so yeah. No, I didn't give a gun butt away. Maybe next time we'll I'll buy somebody a gun butt. How's that? Uh, is 2K primer considered a sealer? If you get the primer sealer, it can be considered a sealer. All you do is add a little bit extra reducer in it and it becomes a sealer. Okay, which can be sanded. I really don't like to use sealer because it's just thinned down. I would rather just 2K prime it and then just finish sand it with 400 with a block to get it to get it flat and ready for paint. Should you use base coat blender on all touch up painting? Um, it depends where the blend is on your panel. And you sometimes you don't have to. If I mean, if you're touching up and spraying a complete panel, you don't have to. If you're running into another panel, like you're doing a whole door and half of a fender, you really don't need a blender because you could just blend the base with your spray gun. You know what I mean? There's really no need for that. Blender is mostly used for blending into like 1500 sanded areas, like on a roof rail to a quarter panel or something where you don't want to clear the whole roof rail around the door. You could just two, you know, like 1500 grit sand it and then blend your, your clear coat into the panel and buff it out. <clears throat> um, Arnold, thank you so much for the wonderful words. You're, you're awesome, dude. Um, you should do an annual contest where the grand prize would be you come out to the winner and give them personal hands-on training. I would pay good money for those tickets. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, maybe, but maybe in Hawaii, from Hawaii. Uh, VIP from Australia. Awesome. Okay. All right. So I think, let's see. Um, did I, don't forget the bell. Okay, guys, hit the like button, and I am going to call it tonight was Central Time, not Eastern. Yes, 8 p.m. Central. It was my mistake. So we're going to be on around the same time next week, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. I was kind of messed up because I had my girl send out an email, and I just I wasn't sure. So next week, we're going to be on Thursday night, 8 p.m. Central. And again, the offer is still up. Nobody took action yet on the first person from this YouTube live that becomes a VIP. Oh, this is the wrong link. That's for a uh, gun bud. Let me give you the link again to uh, the VIP sale. Just check it out. Spend some time on this page. See everything that you're getting. And the first person, I will literally buy you this gun and mail it to you at VIP. All right, guys, thank you for being on today. Uh, it's about 30 minutes, perfect timing. And I will see you guys on next week. And I might even jump on in between and do some YouTube lives or whatever. We'll see what the story is. And we got some other projects being uploaded pretty soon. All right, guys, 
Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before I leave um, or before you leave. And I'll see you guys on next week with more stuff. Peace out from Hawaii. I'm in a tank top. It's warm out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheers. And uh, talk to you soon.